Welcome dear dear students, this is Dr. Hadi here. Today's topic is classification of enzyme. This is second lecture from the chapter of enzyme, the classification. Enzyme can be classified into the following categories. Six categories that can be represented in shortcut form by this word othlil means if you want to memorize it then you can use this word othlil that will help you while writing this topic during your, during your exam. O oxidoreductases this is the first class of enzyme oxidoreductases the first thing that you should note that oxidoreductases is not the name of a single enzyme it is a family name representing large number of enzymes that are collectively packed in the heading oxidoreductases these are the enzymes which are involved in oxidation and reduction reaction oxidation and reduction reaction oxy and reduction reactions these two reactions oxidation reduction example is the example is alcohol dehydrogenase is a very well known enzyme dehydrogenase it will remove hydrogen from one substrate oxidizing that substrate let's suppose we have a h and that is a plus H. Now the, look here hydrogen is attached with A. When this hydrogen is removed, I mean now A is alone and H is H has been separated. We say that A is now oxidized. And in this type of reaction, the enzyme involved will be called as oxidoreductases. Remember during oxidation reduction. Uh, the enzymes which are used these will usually belong to the oxidoreductases and once again oxidation and reduction is oxidation is the removal of hydrogen from a substrate the removal of electron from a substrate the addition of oxygen in a substrate this is called as oxidation now transferases those enzymes which are involved in in group transfer means this is one molecule let us let's suppose this is one molecule a is attached with a phosphate a phosphate is attached here and what will happen when this phosphate is uh, oh sorry sorry this is just a molecule a and we are going to combine it with a phosphate and the enzyme that help in transferring the phosphate and attaching it with the a is called as transferase so the example of transferase is hexokinase. Hexokinase are those enzymes which transfer a phosphate group. There are other enzymes which transfer methyl group, which transfer different other groups. So here the example available is for the phosphate. When phosphate is transferred, the enzyme is called as hexokinase, and hexokinase is a kind of transferase. As the name indicates, as the name indicates, transferase only transfer a group within a molecule or from one molecule to another molecule. Hydrolases, this is the third category. Hydrolases are those enzymes which break down a compound by the help of water. Let's suppose we have one uh, amino acid and it is attached with another amino acid A with the help of water H2O, with the help of water H2O. If we break this bond and it will become A, H and A, OH means water contain H and OH with, the, with one of the, the H of H2O will be attached here and the OH will attach here. This bond will be broken down and as a result this process is called as hydrolysis because you are going to break a bond with the help of water is called as hydrolysis. The example of hydrolysis is, is the lipase. A lipase is that enzyme which break down the bond between the in lipid molecule. Fine. 
And there is an example, other example is also available that is hysteres. So you can also write hysteres. Hysteres uh, are those enzymes which catalyze the breakdown of ester, and ester is a kind of lipid. Then we have lyases. A lyases is uh, these are those enzymes which break down a bond between the CC, between CO, or CN bond. Means these bond can also be broken, but this time not with the help of water by eliminating a group. By eliminating atom, sorry, by eliminating atom. So if we break these bond. And, and as a result of this enzyme, usually you will find double bond as well. Okay? So once the bond is broken, there will be formation of double bond as well. So the enzyme which are involved in the breakdown of these bond by eliminating the atom is called as lyases. And one of the most famous example is aldolase or aldolases. Then we have... Uh, uh, isomerase. Isomerase are those enzymes which are involved in the isomerization. And isomerization is the formation of isomer. The formation of isomer. Just like you see here, uh, we have a glucose, we have glucose, and we have fructose. Glucose formula is C6H12O6. And fructose formula is also C6H12O6. The conversion of glucose into fructose or fructose into glucose is called as isomerization. And the glucose and fructose are the isomer of each other because they have same molecular formula. However, they are a little bit different in the structure. So the enzymes which are involved in the formation of uh, in the isomerization reaction, these enzymes are collectively called as isomerases. And ligases, the last category is ligase. Ligase are those enzymes which bind together which bind together molecules means this is the opposite of the lyases where the bond was broken down but here two molecules will be linked together this is let's suppose dna ligase one of the example is the dna ligase it is a very good example of the ligase a dna ligase what it does it just bind one nucleotide with other nucleotide the, the, this small rectangular boxes represent nucleotides and the bond that is formed between two nucleotides is due to that uh, enzyme ligases so this was a very short summary of classification of enzyme most of students they um, they requested me to uh, record a video lecture on the enzyme so here we recorded this video for you thank you uh, i hope you enjoyed watching this video remember us in your prayers also share this video lecture with your friends and colleagues and give us a like as well thank you bye bye